Welcome back. It's a complicated problem with no easy solution. Domestic violence is hard to talk about, and the cases can be difficult to prosecute. Victims fear even more abuse, and reliving the incident in court can be traumatic. But what if a helpful tool could be found at an animal shelter? Crisis Center North's Paws for Empowerment program is turning rescued dogs into canine court advocates. <laughs> Penny doesn't carry a briefcase or present arguments to the judge. But she is a powerful advocate when she goes to magisterial district court. Thanks for bringing Penny to work today. When you hear about this kind of work, at first you're just kind of like, no, no. But when you see it in action, it's amazing. There is much more to Penny than her soft coat of fur. She is specially trained to evaluate and respond to each victim's emotional needs. Imagine talking about someone hitting you, choking you, and telling that in a public court setting. Grace Coleman is Penny's mom at home and her boss at Crisis Center North, where they offer services that include legal advocacy and counseling. My father was a veterinarian, and he often told me that a good dog was a dog that had a job. So when he passed away, I wanted to make sure I gave a couple of shelter dogs a job. Penny's job came about when she was with Grace at work one day. There was a little boy who did not want to go to counseling. So I asked him, will you take Penny to your counseling session? So he took Penny into the counseling, and the counselor came out and said they had covered more ground than they had in six months. That's when Grace knew Penny would have a job helping victims. She is sweet. She is very sweet. This woman found herself in a lethal domestic violence situation. It's a nightmare We're on top of a nightmare. The court case is now closed and Penny is helping her through counseling. She wishes Penny could have been her canine advocate when she testified in court. The first time that I had to go in front of the magistrate, he was right in the same room and they expected me to sit there with them. This might not be what comes to mind when you think of a courtroom. There's no jury box, there's no witness box. For the preliminary hearing, everybody's testifying right here at this table. The defendant would be sitting here, and in many cases, the victim sitting right across from them here. So imagine the comfort that a canine advocate like Penny brings to the victim as they sit face to face with the defendant. Nowhere in the Constitution or the Bill of Rights does it say you have the right to a dog when you come to, when you come to, to court, but we've been fortunate to have that uh, provided. Come on, you can do it, come on, yes. Sherry Herschel trains Penny and the newest canine advocate, Ari, using the intuitive method and their keen sense of smell. Our dogs are allowed to interact with the victims as they feel that the victim needs them and they've never been wrong. The dogs will signal to the human advocates what a victim is feeling. A victim could, for instance, be exhibiting every symptom of anxiety in the world. But if our dogs are telling us that victim has depression, we're more likely to delve deeper into those subjects with the victim to try and bring out maybe an emotion that they're suppressing. Harvey! Harvey! Wyatt, Quincy, and Caitlin are the canine kids. Me and the other kids are make these dogs know what kids are so they're not afraid of them. Can you sit? Good boy. They socialize with Penny and Ari so the dogs are always ready to meet children. I should be in. I want to stay. Pause for Empowerment is the first program in the domestic violence movement doing canine advocacy in Pennsylvania and also the first using shelter dogs. We're taking dogs that in many instances could be euthanized or live their lives inside of shelters and giving them a new home, a new community and lots of love. Perhaps it's the combination of love and a job that allows these dogs to make a difference. Pause for Empowerment started with funding help from the District Attorney's Office of Allegheny County and recently they received a large grant from Verizon Wireless that will allow them to expand even further in the new year.